Hello and welcome to our live demo. My name is Joaquino Campo, Product Manager for Bosch Rexroth Automation and Electrification. Today we'll be talking about how to maximize production flexibility with cabinet-free technology. So let's get started. Just a quick review of our agenda. We'll be talking about what is cabinet-free technology, benefits of the manufacturing value chain, how to obtain a flexible and faster machine design, how to have a smaller footprint on your machine, and how to increase machine uptime. Before we continue, I just want to show you our complete portfolio. We have frequency converters, cabinet servo drives, compact converters, modular drives, server motors, synchronous and asynchronous, kit motors, rotary and linear, but today we will focus on cabinet-free servo drives. So what is cabinet-free technology? Well, if you take a powerful servo drive plus a flexible servo motor, you add intelligence for data collection, you get a motor-integrated servo drive, which is multi-Ethernet capable. Uh, it could reduce your cabinet size or eliminate it altogether. It has one cable hybrid solution. It has safety from safe torque off up to safe motion, and it could decrease your cabling efforts up to 90%. So out of the Here's an overview of our components. We have a cabinet-free power supply that can have a continuous power of 7.5 kilowatts and a maximum power of 15 kilowatts. We have the near motor servo drive with continuous current of 22 amps and a maximum current of 36 amps. Then there is a motor integrated servo drive that can have a continuous torque of up to 22 Newton meters and a maximum of 35 Newton meters. And all of these units are IP65 protection rated. Let's see how we can save across the entire manufacturing value chain. We will review saving in machine design, in building and testing the machine, in shipping it, installing it at the customer site, and finally, savings in production and increasing production. We'll start with machine design. We want to design a machine that offers high productivity, that is designed faster. We want a machine with a smaller cabinet, a machine that requires less components, and a machine that is innovative. One of the challenges a machine builder has is the cabinet. He has to figure out the layout, the design cost, he has to make it accessible, all the wiring, he has to remove the heat, avoid compensation, and comply with standards. There's a lot behind an electrical enclosure. Let me show you three scenarios. First one is a conventional cabinet with nine axes, all the drives in the cabinet, two cables per drive, a power and a feedback cable typically. Then the space in the cabinet, all the components, and most likely even an AC unit. Now let's see the cabinet reduce system with one power supply, a drive connection box, and one cable coming out of a smaller cabinet and maybe a smaller or no AC unit at all. Last, a complete cabinet free solution with the power supply and the components mounted directly on the machine, minimizing the footprint of the machine. This slide is a visual of a demo unit I will show you shortly. You can see how one hybrid cable is daisy chained from one motor integrated servo to the other one. And it shows the ability of using traditional drives with cabinet free technology. It doesn't all have to be cabinet-free technology. You could use traditional ones with MI. Um, but here, let me show you. Here we are showing cabinet reduced options. We are showing two options. So let's start with this one here. We have a converter 54 amp drive that's connected to a servo motor. This drive has the PLC in it, so the control is inside the drive. It's con controlling all the motion. Plus, it's acting as a power supply for the motor integrated drives connected 
to this kit up here that is grabbing all the signals and putting them in the hybrid cable. And the hybrid cable will come down and it's connected to this motor integrated drive. This drive daisy chain to this drive, which is just the drive part of it, which gets mounted on the machine near the motor. This is IP65 also. The motor gets connected here and then the motor is right here. So this is a three axis system, these three, in this amount of space in the cabinet. And if you wanted to add another axis, you could add another axis um, and the cabinet space would not change. Over here we have the same cabinet reduced technology example with a different converter drive connected to a servo motor. But the bus is shared here to this converter unit that grabs all the signals and puts them in the one hybrid cable that comes down to this integrated motor. And then the drive is connected to this single cable motor. So it's two motors in this amount of space in your cabinet. And if you wanted to add another axis, you have the flexibility to do it without changing the cabinet. you just saw, you can make a flexible machine or modular machine. One simply has to add additional drive connection boxes to the power supply for additional access lines. Plus, if necessary, an access could be added anywhere within the line for additional flexibility. Here's another visual slide of a demo I will show you shortly. This is a complete cabinet-free solution. Machines can be designed this way to add or remove modules at the production floor. Uh, let's, let's take a look. So here we have the cabinet-free power supply. Up here, we have a filter module that has the filter, the choke, and the contact. Mains connection comes in here. This comes to the power supply that has the power supply and the converter unit that gets all the signals into the hybrid cable. 24 volts is connected here to the power supply. And from here, all the signals come out through the one hybrid cable, are connected to this motor integrated servo drive. And this one is daisy chain to the second one. Plus we're showing here that you could share the power to like a capacitor module if you want to store any, any energy. And this would completely remove the cabinet from your system because these units would go out on your machine. So this is a cabinet free power supply. And this is a cabinet reduced solution. We start to see how this technology can help us save in building and testing by having a shorter machine build cycle, um, by reducing the footprint, by having less cabling, uh, by reducing the cost of changes, um, by being able to do a modular build and saving on the logistics. With all this, um, shipping costs are reduced because the footprint of the machine is smaller and it weighs less due to less components. And then on the installation side, it is easier to install this because you can have a faster assembly, because there's less wiring, um, it's easier to test, and it's a fast, faster start of production. The more connection points there are, the more troubleshooting can occur. Many times I have been, and startups, where there are errors on the machine due to loose connections. Plus, every cable coming out of the machine has to be properly managed with shielding, properly installed, the routing, and has to be connected to the correct drive. All the electrical components must be properly grounded within the cabinet. For example, electrical filters have to be wired and grounded correctly to avoid any troubleshooting issues. 
And finally, production. Now that we have a machine that occupies less floor space, the customer can use that space for something else. Add another machine, or better yet, get a smaller facility to produce the same or even more production than with the bigger facility. The machine is smart, ready for IoT connectivity. It also requires less maintenance because all the parts are accessible on the machine and probably does not have an AC cooling unit. The customer has all the production performance data to monitor that all its production is at the highest quality level. You can also increase machine uptime with drive integrated safety from safe torque off to safe motion. With safe torque off, the safety signals can be directly connected to the drive, or you can create safety zones by using a safety plug here. And when it receives the signals, both of the drives go into safe torque off. You can also use safe motion with safe communication protocols like SIP safety on circles, SIP safety on Ethernet IP, safety over EtherCAT, ProfiSafe on ProfiNet. The safe signals are passed through the hybrid cable, giving us the ability to create independent safe zones with different safety features. For example, a customer may want to remove a jam or misplaced part on the machine. They can simply open the door of that section of that section of the machine. This part of the machine will go into, let's say, safe limited speed or safe stop, while the rest of the machine continues at production speed. Once the issue has been addressed, the door can be closed and the machine runs at production speed again, without having to stop the machine, which increases your uptime. There you have it. We saw how cabinet-free technology can help us save across the manufacturing value chain and help us create flexible and innovative machines for our customers, all the way from machine design to the production. Thank you for your time. Feel free to contact me with any questions at my email, joaquin.ocampo at boschrexrod-us.com, or feel free to visit our website, Bosch rexrod-us.com slash automation or find us at the PAC Expo show as Bosch Rexrod Corporation. Come chat with us. Richard is there. Andy is there. Brian is there. Alan is there. Jim is there. I'm there to answer all your questions. Thanks again and have a nice day.